As you know by now, here at Morningstar, we are always pushing the envelope to improve our products. The reason we do all this is you guys. We want you to have the best experience using our products, to do things previously thought impossible, and to take your performances and recordings to another level. On top of the new features added, we have also made workflow enhancements to the editor, which will allow you to work faster and more efficiently. We'll make a whole other video for the editor improvements, but for this video, we just focus on the new features in firmware 3.9. We can't wait to show all this to you, so let's get started right away. Here are the top 10 new features in firmware 3.9. First up, you now get customizable expression pedal curve responses. This allows you to control your expression pedal's taper and how it responds when controlling different parameters. Apart from the default linear response setting, you can now also have an exponential or logarithmic response. Custom curve response is specific for each expression CC message. This means you can have a different curve response for different effect parameters, which is super versatile and handy. For example, you could have a linear taper for controlling volume and a logarithmic taper for controlling the sweep of a Y effect. You can tweak your expression pedal response to your heart's content with 20 different taper curve responses to choose from. Next on our list is a brand new bank and preset management system accessible on the Morningstar editor. You can now drag and drop to select and rearrange banks and also rearrange presets within banks before uploading them to your controller. You can also stack multiple backup files so you can pick and choose which banks you want to upload from multiple controller backups. The third feature is a pretty big one, selectable switches for looper mode. Looper mode has been a great feature that allows you to send MIDI messages with zero latency for precise and accurate looper control. However, it did have its shortcomings due to the fact that dual switch presses were automatically disabled for the entire bank, and you could not use other action types such as double tap and long press in looper mode. In firmware 3.9, you can now choose which switches you want to put into looper mode. This gives you the best of both worlds. You still get your latency-free switches for loop control and the ability to bank up and down using dual switch presses and also have switches with multi-action functionality. With its bigger screen, the MC8 has always been able to display a live readout of the MIDI clock BPM that is being sent from your controller. However, given the smaller sizes of the MC3 and MC6, it was challenging to also have a live BPM readout on these smaller devices. Well, we are happy to announce that a live BPM readout is now also available on the MC3 and MC6. You can choose to display the readout on any switch of your choice. To enable this feature, simply enter the placeholder percentage BP as the preset name for the switch of choice. Take note that this is simply replacing your switch's name to display the BPM, but you can still program the switch to perform whatever function you want. So if I program the same switch to function as a MIDI clock tap tempo switch, you can see that the display changes on the fly as I tap in my tempo. Next up, you can now choose to determine the CC values of the CC messages you send based on the current position of your expression pedal. This allows you to keep your volume and effect parameters consistent across your presets even when adjustments are made on the fly in a live setting. Number 6. Introducing the shift state, the temporal and third toggle position. The shift state is a powerful new feature that we are introducing that allows you to put each of your switches in a temporary state to send only certain MIDI messages when a switch is in the shift state. If a switch is in a shift state, an upward arrow symbol will be displayed on the left of the preset name. In this case, switch A is in the shift state. One of the great uses of the shift state is to control multiple looper functions with a single switch. You can have a switch trigger the record button of your looper the first time you press it, and after the first press, the switch will toggle between play and overdub functions. We'll create a separate video to explain this feature in greater detail and show you how to use it, so stay tuned. Next up, we have a super exciting feature to introduce to you, and that is Toggle Groups. Toggle Groups gives you the ability to group your desired presets across different banks so that their toggle states always stay in sync. So here in bank 3, I have an array of effects, and in bank 4, I have the same effects as well, but they are just in a different order. If I were to go back to bank 3 and activate the clone, phaser, and boost, and go back to bank 4, you'll see that the same effects are also toggled on already. And if I were to toggle them off now, and I would engage my reverb, and maybe swell here, and I go back to bank 3, the same effects are also toggled on. Random MIDI waveform type. Added by popular request, this new waveform type allows you to go crazy and explore new sounds and textures, which can lead to some really interesting and inspiring results. Do share them with us as we are really interested to see what you create with this. Number 9. Control MIDI waveform speed with an expression pedal. Being able to control your waveform speed with an expression pedal allows you to get creative with how you can modulate your tone on the fly. 
And last but definitely not least, we have XFX3 and FM3 integration for the MC6 and MC8. With this new feature, you will be able to put your MC6 or MC8 into an integrated mode for seamless control of presets and scenes on your fractal device. In this mode, your Morningstar controller will automatically read and retrieve preset and scene names from your XFX3 or FM3 and display them on its screen, ready for you to access with just the tap of a switch. We'll have another in-depth video demonstrating this feature and showing you how to use it. So remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. We hope that you're as excited about firmware 3.9 as we are. We can't wait for you to upgrade and start using all the new features and functions. Do consider subscribing and liking this video if you haven't already. We have lots of exciting videos coming up and we can't wait to see you there. As always, keep making awesome music and we'll catch you again in the next video. Peace.